Hi children, welcome to EduCup. Today we are with the science lesson from grade 8. Third lesson, diversity and functions of plant parts. Now we are discussing the second part of the lesson, diversity and functions of plant stems. The basic function of the stem are supporting and bearing leaves, bud, flowers, fruits, seeds of plant and keeping the plant upright. Also, the stem transport water and minerals throughout the plant. Most stems are found above the ground. Some stems grow underground and they are known as underground stems. In addition to the basic functions, stems have adapted to fulfill the, uh, some other functions also. Let's study what are those. Let's study the diversity of stems based on their adaptation. Most stems produce new living tissues allowing plants to grow and reproduce. These stems are known as propagative stems. I'm going to give you the examples. Plants reproduced by runners, stolen. Go to color, Udupialia, and Bulamili. Let's see some plants reproduced by suckers. Banana, Kalanduru, Hedi. Let's see the examples. Plants with storage stem. Sugarcane, Kitul. These plants store food in aerial stems. Some underground stems serve the function of storage of food, prenation and sexual propagation. During the adverse season, the aerial parts get destroyed but the underground stem is survives. During favorable seasons, new sprout come out from the underground stem using the stored food. Let's see the plant reproduced by the underground stem, turmeric, ginger, onion, potato. Some plants are green and photosynthetic. Some stems are called photosynthetic stems. Examples are cactus, Daluk. Let's see some plants fixed to the support fixed to a support to climb up and absorb sunlight efficiently. Such stems are called climbing stems. Examples for climbing stems are very well beans. Our next main topic is diversity and functions of plant roots. The basic function of root is anchor the plant in the soil, absorb water and minerals. There are some roots adapted to satisfy other functions also. Other than the tap root and its branches, there are roots which arise from other parts of the plants. These roots are known as adventitious roots. There are roots that adapted to fulfill many other functions. Let's see what are the functions. Of now we are going to talk about different types of root. Tuberous roots, slit roots, climbing roots, aerial roots, respiratory roots and propagative roots. First one is tuberous roots. The roots that are swollen due to the storage of food are known as tuberous roots. Some tuberous roots allow the plant to survive in unfavorable seasons. Food can be stored either in the tap root or in adventitious roots. On the tuberous root, there are types. Storage of food in the tap root and storage food in, food in adventitious roots. Let's see the examples for Plants that store food in taproot, carrot, radish, beet. Let's see the examples for storage food in adventitious roots, manioc, sweet potato. Bahi. Next one is crop roots, adventitious roots that arise from the branches. They penetrate the soil and help helps to support branches. Examples are banyan, rat, kadol. Slit roots, adventitious roots arise from the stem, 
grow below the ground and support the stem. Vatakeya, Rampa, Mahakadol. Climbing roots. Roots that help the climbing stem. Creepers to fix the surface or support. Beetle, Pepper. Aerial roots. These roots absorb moisture from the atmosphere and supply the plant. These specialized roots are can be found mostly in epiphytes, orchids, vanilla. Respirated roots. These roots absorb in air from the atmosphere and supply the plant. They are special roots which can be find, uh, found in mostly in mangroves. Sonorata, Mahakadol. Propagative roots. These roots produce new plants. Examples are curry leaves, guava, belly. Plants play a which are role in the environment. Therefore, it is your duty to explore and collect specimens with minimum damage to the environment. This is what we have to learn throughout the lesson, diversity and functions of the plant part. Let's meet with the next fourth lesson, properties of matter. Thank you.